Well, Steve, you said that your side were desperate for a first league win of the season and what an emphatic way to get it. Well, you know, in all of it, we didn't play very well the other night and Cardiff didn't have any shots at our goal, but we hadn't played as well. We've played well again today. We've played well against Middlesbrough and we've played well against Sheffield, but you need a result. And uh, no matter how you fluff it up, you need one. So, And we probably needed the, the goal, an own goal, maybe to just kickstart us. You see then that little bit of confidence which just runs through the team. And we know that if they're right, then we've got some good players here and we've got to be consistent, of course, because that's what you need in this league. So, But, yeah, very, very pleased that we've got our first result. Apart from the two goals that we conceded, Steve, I don't think there was a player on the pitch that had a, a bad game. It was a complete performance, no, we wasn't must, it? We have to say, Butts made a big save at nil-nil to push it onto the bar. And uh, and they were a threat up front. Eh? They've got some good players. So, you know, it was never going to be easy. Never is this... this just how, look at the, the results today again in this championship. You know, Blackburn, after beating us, have lost twice 3-0. It's incredible. That's the way the championship is goes up and down in inconsistency. We spoke a few weeks ago about the need to share the goals around four different goal scorers today, plus the own goal that Hull yeah. uh, gave us it's as important. well, which is pleasing to see. Yeah, it's important, but some of our work was, was very, very good, I thought, you know, going forward. We were we were a threat, and of course, the little bit of confidence that you need, it's good to see. It was a stand innovation for Grady Diangana when you took him off. What did you make of his afternoon? <laughs> well, the big challenge has been kind of sprinkling a bit of life into, into Grady. And, uh, you know, when I walked in, he looked battered and bruised and beaten up for some reason. So it's been difficult, but he's worked hard all summer. And when you see him today, he's got that natural, what natural footballers have got, which was great to see. Just finally, Steve, I've got to ask you about your captain on the day, Dara O'Shea. You handed him the armband this afternoon. Well, I've said since I walked through the door, since I clapped eyes on him, he's captain material. You know, his attitude, the way he works, the way he is. For me, he'll be a future captain of this club, that's for sure, and um, I've had no hesitation in giving him it.